All right, here's a quick lesson on the five positions of the G major scale. Um, I'm going to give two exercises for each position, also a finger exercise or scale type exercises. All of these positions are going to be very helpful in all the other mode lessons that I'm also doing in this little series. So here goes the, this is the G note, third fret. This is the first position of the G major scale. So that was the first octave. That's G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. And then we continue with the second octave. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. You can also add that A in this position. You can also add that F sharp right there into that position. So here goes the second position, fifth fret. A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C. Okay, that is also the A Dorian position. Okay, so here goes the third one, 7, 8, 10. B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D. That's third position. Fourth position starts on the 10th fret with the middle finger. D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. 10th fret here with the first finger. A, B, C, D, E. Okay, fifth position starts on the 12th fret. E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, E. F sharp G A B C D E F sharp G. Okay, that's the five positions of G major. Obviously, if you wanted to be in a different key, you would move the first position's middle finger note, like this is a G here. Say if you wanted to be in the, um, sorry, that's a, there's the third fret. If you wanted to be in a A, you'd go to the fifth fret and play that first position here, now you're in the key of A, and all the other positions fit like in a row connected to each other, like a big grid. Okay, so here's two exercises you can do with these scales. One is to go up four notes at a time. So I started on the G, and now I wanna start on the A on the next set of four. And then the B. Eventually you want to get it to where there's no pauses or spaces between the sets of fours. So you want it to be like. You can do that next one if you want. Okay, so that would be fours exercise. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, you could also, if with your right hand, if you want to do a picking exercise, you could try to do down ups with all of those notes. Now, the next one we're going to do is um, and obviously you do the same thing for each position. Okay, so that would happen for all the different positions, but the other type of exercise is thirds. That's where you skip the second note of the scale and you go to the third. And you do that with each set of notes. Thirds is also how harmonies and chords are built, so it's good to get into the use of the sounds of these different thirds. For example, this G and this B is part of a G chord. This A and this C is part of an A minor chord, the next chord of that key. B to D is part of the B minor chord, the three chord of that key. C to E is like the four chord. D to F sharp is the five chord. E to G is the six chord. And this is the seven chord, the minor seven flat five, F sharp. So um, here goes that exercise. Example on the second position.
Okay, so that's been uh, five positions of G major scale. If you like what you see, like and subscribe. I'm going to bring a lot more uh, lessons like this coming up. Check out my modes lesson and you'll be able to use all these different positions over different chord progressions and learn how to play over changes and improvise and stuff like that. So thanks a lot. I'm Damon Wood. Peace. See you soon.